Hey, we're getting right into it today. How's it going, everybody? Simon Gordon, hello from San Jose, California, where it rained yesterday. Anyways, perfect. And my mom says Vancouver Islands went chilly. And someone with a uh, Middle Eastern script says waiting. I can't read your name. And I know like when you highlight the names, you actually have to highlight from the right to the left or else it won't highlight. And um, yeah, you can throw it into Google Translate that way. We are here with the Apple iPad Air. Why is this? Because, well, they sent it to us and very much thank you to Apple for sending this to us. This is the latest 2022 model. We're not going to be talking about the Air. We're not going to be talking about the specs, uh, how it can play games, the processor, all that crap, because you guys don't care about... I'm going to go like this. Is that better? Mm a bit darker that's better uh you guys don't care about that from us because there are countless tech sites that talk about that we are going to talk about the note-taking experience to a lesser extent the reading experience things like that so we will get us started by pressing the top corner now this pen is the apple pencil and uh it only works oops it only works on this unit come on man get up there don't look at my amazing password people are always like why would you choose six ones it's like well you wouldn't have guessed it <laughs> <laughs> and you know more often than not uh, usually right so uh no one would actually get it so let me see here i i am so off my game when it comes to um apple like seriously no i don't want to sign in oh yeah i can't use that i have to use uh notes i think it's called right i can't actually use pages um yeah pages you need to sign in i know there's i know we did note taking I just can't remember where it is. <laughs> we don't use Apple here. I think Mike uses Apple on his end, but we don't use Apple here typically. Uh, books, camera, podcasts, map. Um, uh oh, where is it? Have you looked at the free form in the latest Apple beta? Uh, no, we, we, uh, Simon, I, I appreciate that, but like typically we don't touch Apple. Uh, Apple has nothing to do with ebook readers. And um, they currently, of course, don't have any e-ink related. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go like this. There we go. They don't have any e-ink related products whatsoever. They they only do uh, LCD, LED tablets, and they only do Apple. And we just, it's not our, um, it's not our thing. It's not our forte. We don't do any of that. Okay, wait, why am I not able to use that now? That's very strange. I think it's, uh-oh, it's not reading. Oh, yeah, here. This is what I'll show you while we're waiting to, for me to figure it out. Apple has an interesting way of showing magazines and things like that. It's The thing about an Apple device is that everything always works. And the fact is because they keep it simple in the way where they only have a couple screen sizes, all things considered. If you think about Android, there are so many screen sizes, there's so many resolutions, there's so many aspect ratios they need to design for. But with Apple... Up until a couple years ago, they only had one screen size, the iPad, and then the iPhone. It's gotten a little bit more convoluted recently because they have the iPad, the iPad mini, then they have the iPad Air, and then they have the iPhone, the iPhone Plus, the iPhone XS. So they have some different screen size variations, but for the most part, it's easier to deal with. And when, you, when it comes to just interaction, an iPad is so good. It's so good and everything works all the time. I don't use iPads all that often, but I will say in the times I have used it, I haven't had anything crash on me literally ever. So that's something very positive. Uh, I just found it. It's the notepad. That's how you get to the pencil. Thank goodness. Okay. You can see I have some notepads here. I'm going to create a new one. Oh, here we go. If the pencil's active, press the button and may open writing pad. Oh, okay. Let's see. I know that's the only button you can do, and it's mostly to toggle. Thank you very much, by the way. Um, if you want to romanize your name for us so I can reference you, that would be great because I, I can't, I don't know what to call you, basically. So I'm going to create something here. Uh, just call it Peter. And can I start drawing on it right away? I can't remember. Let's see. Oh, I can. Okay. So let's collapse this and expand it. So the writing experience is quite nice. I don't like the pencil. It's okay. And it does have a very interesting toggle. So I can actually, because it doesn't have an eraser on it, you can double tap the side and go from pen to eraser. If you take note at the bottom here, you'll see I'm not touching it. And it actually goes in between. This pencil pen actually drains battery very quick. Let's see what we're sitting at right now for battery. So if we snap it to the side like so, it should tell us the battery up top. Uh, it does not. It should tell us. Let's see. 
Snap it to the side right here. Okay, on the Huawei it does. I guess it's not telling me on this pen on this pen right now, but oh, some perfect. Thank you very much. Some Um yeah, so this pen actually drains pretty drastically. I remember we did our note taking segment of this uh for our YouTube channel, and I think between just the one segment it went from like a hundred percent down to eighty something percent. Granted it does charge very quick up top when you do snap it to the side, but that's not the point. The point is that it's the charging anxiety that has to do with, you know, things like electric cars and battery related things. That's why EMR styluses like the Lamy pens and stuff like that, where you don't need to charge it because it's using Wacom. It's using a Wacom digitizer, which is just this passive connection. Those are a lot nicer. And to be completely honest, it feels better than this pen. This pen has a very hard tip. It's kind of rubbery. But it's basically like the Huawei Pencil where it has the transmitter right there. Don't touch that. And it has these replaceable tips. They say replaceable tips. They are. They screw in like that, but they're very expensive. And they they, they last a long time because they're not meant to wear down. But you get a pretty bad writing feel. It's just, it, it is what it is. It's explained in, in the construction. It's a piece of rubber on a piece of glass. It's not particularly sticky. It's not overly grippy it's it's actually quite slippery and smooth yes with lcd led you do get a very consistent experience and you will get a very nice pressure sensitivity and everything's very quick so when it comes to latency it's quite low aka it's fast can i increase that eraser i can uh object eraser oh cool there we go so now i can go like this and it'll erase all the actual objects if they're connected by the same stroke and I'll just go like that. Okay, so you can toggle between, but you can't do that. In 16.2, Freeform is a new application designed for graphical note-taking and collabor collaboration. So it'll be a big thing. Write how it compares with how it compares with how it compares with the note-taking on ink devices. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we typically don't do iPads, as we said. It's mostly... Can I tap anywhere on this pen? Because I tapped pretty low that time. Where's the cutoff? Halfway. Okay, so it has to be the upper third, I guess. Yeah, it does have to be kind of this general region. Can I do it on the magnet side? I can't. It has to be on that back back half. Oh, now it's not doing it at all. And I've destroyed it. Yep, it's broken forever. There we go. Yeah, uh, thank you, Simon, but we're... Uh, you know, unless Apple says, hey, can you guys do some more videos? We're probably not going to do that. So you do have some different line thicknesses. And when you tap on each individual one, you can get the translucency, transparency of it. So you can go 100%. You can go kind of this like little scribble kind of thing. You can tap here and choose how thick you want your highlight. You can do this complete overblown shade. You can choose what kind of, you know, regular felt tip you want. And of course, I don't remember what that one is. Was that text input? Yeah, it is text input. Um, so yeah, there's a it's it's a great experience on Apple devices. It's a great experience on uh, LCD devices, but you're always just going to be plagued by battery, 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 battery. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, every second of every day, people are always like, "Why would you buy that? Why not, why would you buy app uh, e ink when you can buy an iPad?" It's because iPads. It's way too thick. Let's go here. iPads and e-paper devices cannot be compared. You can't compare them. People are always saying, oh, for this much money, I could buy an iPad, but an e-paper device is $900. It's silly to say that. That's like saying I can buy a Hyundai Sonata and you can barely buy a, a, you know, a, a rare pair of Michael Jordan shoes because they're, they're not the same thing. They act similarly in the way they're, you know, devices that have electronics in them they're they're tablet oriented units but the f the sheer fact that this has an e-paper screen versus an lcd that changes absolutely everything it puts a chasm it puts a universe between these two topics these subjects they cannot be compared you can't say i can buy an ipad for the price of an e-paper you're right but you're entirely wrong at the same time they're never meant to be in the same room with each other <laughs> they're completely different entities e-paper devices it's electronic paper it's the same thing as that if i have this in this form it will not use battery 
ever until the dinosaurs come back. Ever. iPads and LCD tablets will constant. This is constantly. You don't. You guys don't see it. It's constantly flickering. Anywhere between 23.97 and 240 times a second, it's flickering like that. You just don't see it. And that's how it's always ready. It's always ready to change state. And when you do change state, you can see how it's updating. Every little pixel I move into is already ready for me. See that? See that? It's already ready. It's ready. It need, it's, it's saying turn red, turn red, turn red. And the ones below it are saying turn white, turn white, turn white, like that. E-paper won't do that. E-paper changing state is very slow. It needs to refresh. It needs to drop the particles and put them back in a new place. But with an e-paper device, you can use devices for months. Uh, I, we have devices around here, e-readers, that casually pick up and up and down, off and on, and, and we have the Wi-Fi off, and they last... You only have to charge it three times a year. That's not an exaggeration. With something heavily used every single day, you would only need to charge it every five days. Whereas... This is draining like there's no tomorrow. So it's a drastically different thing. And there's not really any other way we can describe it by just saying e-paper is not meant to replace LCD. That's not what it's meant to do. It'll never replace LCD. It's getting really close to look like LCD, but it's never going to be as ready, as responsive, as quick as an iPad. It can't be. So stop saying... Why would you buy e-paper? I'll just buy an iPad. That doesn't make sense. It's like saying, oh, I don't want an, an apple. I want an orange. It's like, well, go get an orange. <laughs> an apple is a really bad orange. And an orange is terrible at being an apple. You know what I mean? So anyways, this is note taking. Look at that. It has like this kind of big bleed. I love that. That's really nice. Yeah, this writing experience. I know there's a couple things on. Um, you see those Facebook ads and Instagram ads. It's like, buy the paper uh, what do you call it? Like screen protector for like $59. Don't do that. The screen protector those guys are using is virtually the exact same thing as a $2.97 anti-glare screen protector from AliExpress. Don't buy those ads that say you can make your uh, paper-like feel, I think it's called, that you can make your iPad feel like paper. Don't buy those. <laughs> Trust us. Trust us. It's just fancy promotion and fancy packaging. You go to AliExpress, DHgate, Woot, um, what's that other one? Um, Bai or something like that. Anyways, you go any of those, three bones, you can get the same thing. Boom, done. Anti glare. You see how much glare there is on here? Where is it? Right there. That's it's a piece of glass. That's all it is. So, uh, don't buy into those really high end, um, uh, high end screen protectors. It's not going to do you any good. Yeah. Uh, other than this, we're not really going to talk about anything on the iPad because, again, you know, that's not what we specialize in. We're not a tech channel that focuses on iPads. Nope, they're very nice. Uh, you know, Apple was nice enough to continuously send us uh, some nice iPads here and there. Get this nice pencil on there. Look at that. Oh, you could tilt it, get some shading. Look at that. I feel like an artist. Yeah, but, um, you know, you guys don't care about us talking about what M processor it has and battery life because it's not what it's all about. It really isn't. This is about, you know, note taking, e reading to a lesser extent, like that, uh, magazines, manga. Um, we've covered all this. Oh, you can go right to the edge. Look at that. Oh, what was that? Oh, cool. Oh, nice. I wrote something the other day there. I said, uh, my wife asked me to buy um, tea. Wait a minute. How did I get that? Anybody know how I got that up there? Oh, and I can throw it down there. Is there something over here? Oh, there's not. Okay, so only from the corner. There's like a quick note. I didn't know that was there. See, I don't know anything about iPad. Uh, when When they sent it to us, they're like, you know, what are you guys planning on doing with it? And we're like, oh, you know, we're we're going to do our thing, but we're going to do it, uh, you know, we'll respect the process, but we're going to do it our way. We're going to be doing, um, you know, note-taking, manga, magazines, e-reading, stuff like that. So if you go and look at the um, uh, the video we did, you'll see it. Uh, Samea said, it's like comparing why NASA is interested in space. Why aren't they interested in geology? It doesn't, it's, yeah. It's, you can't compare an iPad to e-paper. And I'm not just saying that because it's my industry. It's e-paper. But it's absolutely true. You'll never find the parallel. You'll never be able to draw the parallel. I can buy a hockey stick and be like, why is that $300? I can buy a Chromebook. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> it's, it's so different. <laughs> Please. And like, you know, we're nitpicky. And that's our job, to be nitpicky, to to show you guys the technology on how it works and why you should buy e-paper and things like that. Because it's a huge 
you know, multi-million dollar industry, e-paper and e-ink. So it, it, it bears mentioning that you can't compare things that just are not meant to be compared. Do you know the race to the bottom prices of tablets right now? If you go on any wholesale website, you can buy a tablet for like $9. It's because when all these guys want to get into tablet manufacturing, they say, hey, whatever OEM tablet, you know, enterprises Shenzhen, can I buy a thousand tablets? They're like, oh, yeah, we're selling so many tablets here. Take them, take them, take all you need. Uh, you know, um, uh, 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 Skytex, take all you need. Sony, take all you need. LG, take all. There's so many players in the tablet space. So that's why it's easier to get one for rock bottom prices. But when it's e-paper, how many people are doing Color 10.3? One company on the planet. How many people are doing 13.3 inch e-paper? Three companies on the earth. So you go from millions of companies, millions of companies doing tablets, the, the sheer availability of components, it's so dime a dozen. And then you go to 13.3 inch e-paper and there's three people. It's probably like 25 people involved in the whole earth and it becomes different. I want to buy one e-ink panel for my 13.3. Sure, the one panel, the one actual panel will be $230 unit cost. Oh, okay, that's fine because I'm selling the device for 900. Okay, that makes sense. You know, you see it there, you know, the supply and demand part of it all. So when Apple wants to buy screens 10.3s 10.1s whatever it's so easy for them they go to lg they go samsung they go whatever to buy the screens and it's so plentiful there's so many of them that's the difference simon gordon says i want to know how much the gpu the screen refresh makes better on the books device oh we're getting into that we're getting the leaf the leaf uh the leaf 2 the leaf 2 sunken we're getting the tab ultra we're getting the nova air 2 right yeah yeah, Nova Air 3? Wait, what is it? Nova Air 2, I think. Yeah, we're getting all four of them. Um, talking about comparison. No, you're right, uh, Sameh. You're totally right. Uh, La Via, La Vie. It's a quick note. I didn't know that. That's cool. Where am I? Go over here. Go down here. Hey! Oh, my keyboard's off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're getting the keyboard for Onyx too, guys. You know what I like about this? It's got this forever canvas. Look at that. Watch that. Look at this. I'm over here. Boom, done. Got a new canvas. I don't have to change pages, you know? There's benefits to e-paper, of course. Uh, sorry, LCD. Of course. I, I don't use e-paper phones and computer screens, although people think I uh, everything I use is e-paper. No, there's a time and a place. Absolutely time and a place. So Onyx, oops. Onyx, oops. <laughs> I'm on the eraser. <laughs> okay, Onyx. They actually released a bunch of things, and we'll, you know, talk about this while we're writing here. The Tab Ultra. Uh, oops, I missed the L. Uh, the Leaf 2, the Leaf 2 Sunken. We'll explain that when we get it. And the, oops, uh, Nova Air 2. Yeah, for note-taking, notability is one of the best on iPad. It's great. Um, who said that? Rikitikitavi. Rikitikitavi. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Rikitiki. You're right. This is a very nice experience. Does it feel the best? No, that would go to Fujitsu and Sony for the note-taking prowess of how it would actually feel. Is this pen nice? It's a nice pen. It's well-built, well-weighted. It's not very, you know, heavy. It's evenly weighted. The tips can be replaced. So there's a lot going for it. Do I like how you have to charge it all the time? No. Maybe now that it's out of batteries a little bit, it'll allow me to show on the screen. Doesn't it always show up at the top? Just say, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Am I on the right side? Yeah, I am. You hold it like that and you snap it to the side. Where does it snap? Right there. And it should show up and say you have this much battery left. I think you can actually go like this. Uh, over here, there's a thing that says the pencil. Do I have to tap the pencil or do I have to long press that? Remove widget. But you're not even showing me the widget. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the pencil just, you know what? It, it's like the Huawei M Pen or whatever it's called. Eh, it's just so-so when it comes to note-taking feel. And that's, you know, a lot of our industry is e-paper, but if you notice in the past... Man, uh, since 2014, it's all about it's all about note takers, man. It's all about Wacom, capacitive, uh, active capacitive, EMR, uh, proprietary stuff like the Hanvon. I mean, it's it's really just um, 
uh, it really is about note taking. It's like a second little subsector for us. Courtney, yes, it does wirelessly charge. And like I said, it does charge really quick. So you don't have to be that anxious about the battery. But the fact is that it does drain pretty quick. If you look at our review video, I think it drained like 20% in the one little segment. That's a fifth of the entire battery of this pen. Um, it sure beats the Sony pen that you actually have to plug in, but it will never beat a Wacom pen. Lamy, Stadler, Mitsubishi, um, you're remarkable. The pens are so good. They're so instant. They feel good. They're weighted nice. They're built well. The tips are cheap. Uh, it's, it's way better than this Apple pen. And this Apple pen wasn't free. I mean, we, they sent it to us, but it's not free. I think, I think this Apple pen, it's gotta be a couple, uh, it's gotta be like 120 bucks at least. Let me check while I'm here. It's gotta be $120. Uh, what's it called? Apple. I think it's just called Apple pencil. So if I look for the Apple Pencil, second gen, $190, depending on the market, and $30 for the Apple Pencil tips. This pencil, not the iPad Pro Pencil, again, I don't really know much about iPad, $140. The Apple Pencil from Apple is $190, and of course it's going to be different in your area depending on the uh, the region, the, you know, the currency conversion, things like that. Um, yeah, crazy. So... You know, thirty dollars for a couple tips and a hundred, nearly two hundred dollars for the pencil. <laughs> People say you can buy uh, uh, an iPad for the price of an e-reader. I can buy an e-reader for the price of this damn pencil. So you know what I mean? It's give and take. It's a completely separate kind of market. So okay, guys. Lavi, uh, Lavi says, looking forward to the Leaf Two review. Little unknown secret by a lot of you guys. The Leaf Two comes in two. It's the first device ever in the history of e-paper in like twenty years. That. A single unit has two body constructions. That's mind blowing for us. And you guys might just be like, oh, sunken screen, you know, whatever. It is whatever, but if you're here watching, then it's a big news because that's why you're here. Uh, dual body construction on one single release has never happened, ever. Uh, special editions aside, when they, you know, like the Pocketbook Touch HD 3, I think they put like a flush screen, a bezel, the Poke 3 special edition, etc. Asides from that, a single unit has had multiple colors before. We've had denims and we've had rose gold and gunmetals, but we've never had a sunken screen and a flush bezel screen in the same release. That's cool. Really looking forward to that. And it is going to play a massive difference in the overall experience. When you have an e-reader like that, that is a flush, tap, tap. Yeah, tap, tap, that's cool. Flush screen, and when you have one that's sunken, this has at least two less layers because with a flush screen, you'd need a piece of glass slash plastic on top. And you need, every manufacturer will do this, some sort of protective sealant layer on top. And already the EPD, the electronic paper display that has their little flex cable, has a sealant layer on top as well. So if you take that and put it there, where are those two layers? You don't need those two layers anymore on this. So the text is going to be closer to the surface, closer to your eyes. It's a real thing. When you look at a flush screen and bezel, you see a big shadow on the side of the unit on the side because there's a, there's a piece of plastic on top of the actual construction. The screen is further away. But if you take away that, you just have the screen. There it is. That's why sunken screen and bezels are typically nicer looking and flush screen and bezels, whereas they have, you know, good rigidity, good protection, um, have more crap in front of it. And that's just an actual thing. It's a physical, tangible thing that there's more things on top. Simon Gordon says, nice that the Leaf 2 has micro SD, but shame they didn't do it to other devices. What am I missing? Simon, man, I don't know what you're missing. Um, we see manufacturers like, uh, Boy You and Me Book, they, they kind of, uh, what do you call, um, uh, flip-flop between doing, um, micro SD and no micro SD. We think, we see the, the lesser players like, uh, the King Jim Frino and the Moby Scribe, they do SDs and like, no one cares about those units traditionally. And then they have ones like the big namers, like, you know, Big Me, the majority of Big Me's don't have SD. The carves do, but you know what I mean? It's neither here nor there. Um, any other player is not going to have SD cards. I don't know why they do that. The big guys don't. Uh, Kobo, 
uses SD cards, but they build it into the system so that even if you rip the back off and take the SD card out, it's not going to work. It'll only work with that. Uh, Kindle doesn't do it. They haven't done it since Kindle 1. I don't know. Ricky Ticky Tavi, Logitech Pencil with USB-C might be a better deal for most people. Works on all iPads, support first and gen. Yeah, for sure. You are absolutely correct. There are some overlaps. Um, there's even pens that work on both devices. There's, I know that there's some Microsoft-based products that work on an iPad that also work on e-readers. Um, and I think, what do we got here? I think I have a, I got like a, yeah, this one. Uh, a Wacom bamboo pen. It's Wacom with a Wacom receptor. Doesn't work on any e-readers. Not one single Wacom enabled e-paper device this will work on. I don't know what's going on with that. But some for the bamboo outside of this one will work. So, yeah. Uh, I know that like um, certain Wacom constructions will have different kind of either universal receptors. Like the Lamy will work on anything. But like the 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 the, the shinonome g2 or something that uh onyx uses won't work on like a, a remarkable one you know what i mean so it's one of those things oops i just dropped everything oh it's all fall oh, it fell down behind it don't you just hate that when something falls down a hard to reach place okay um acdc what about the galley um what about it <laughs> what do you want to ask we got four minutes here guys let's chat what, what do you want to ask about the galley acdc um it's our new collaborative project that we're making with uh, Big Me, and um, it's coming out soon. I'm not done. I've just been talking for half an hour straight. That's some good tea. This is a uh, Guinness Award-winning tea. I'm not joking. It's like the greatest tea in the world. Not voted by me, but in terms of the Guinness World Record holder, it's the greatest tea in the world. It's pretty good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's, you know, it's a very good green tea it's got some depth to it it's got some body you know la via la vie maybe the target audience for leaf 2 are manga side low could be that's a that's good yeah that's a good th yeah um their nova air isn't going to compete with that they wouldn't want it to compete with that so they 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 leave the leaf on its own right so yeah yeah it could be acdc man hurry up ask your question uh yeah the galley is our latest uh, collaboration with big me we uh, collaborated in making the goody reader uh x big me ink no color with it, which is a massive success uh sold a a bunch of units it's all out in the ether and we had a ton of third-party reviewers review it which we want that's what we wanted to do we reviewed it <laughs> how can we review it that doesn't make any sense yeah it's really good guys we're not we're gonna review the galley of course we're gonna say it's the best thing since sliced bread but also gonna send the galley to everybody like we did linus tech um uh i don't know there's a bunch of people <laughs> there's a ton of people we sent it to you just go you can google um goody reader big me ink note color a bunch will show up uh, lily pewding for example um the galley is using a uh, gallery galley gallery galley galley gallery that's why we did it and uh if you saw we went to a trade show in tokyo we saw a gallery we saw sharp doing it so we did it <laughs> i mean you know was, while we strike while the iron's hot you don't you don't pull your uh what do you call it? your 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 sword out of the kiln or whatever you call it and you just look at it oh it's cold now i can touch it. it's like you should have hammered it oh oops you gotta, you gotta strike while it's hot thanks for the galley review soon oh that was it oh okay Oh yeah, I mean when 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 we finish it, how it usually works is you know you got to send it back and forth a lot, you know we got to send it from China to here and we got to look at it and we'd be like oh yeah okay we'll, we'll that and then send it back and they send it back and then we look at the software we're like okay well there's this that and the other thing we send it back and fix it up you know it's not just one unit but for the most part it's like you know we gotta we gotta work on it we gotta look at the tooling and we gotta look at how it how it works and how it how it functions and uh yeah the, the beauty about this is that uh when we went to the trade show we found out that kaleido 3 actually reduces the color ppi by a third so if you had a 300 ppi screen it would only be 100 ppi in color then we saw a gallery and they're like if you have a 300 ppi screen in black and white it's 300 ppi in color and we're like Oh, so there's like literally no drawback. And they're like, yeah. So that's so, why so we went with a uh, gallery. And it would make no sense for us to do another 7.8, 8 inch, 8.1, whatever you want to call it, in just Kaleido. Because, I mean, you 
everyone's doing 7.8 Kaleido. And no one's doing Gallery. So we're doing Gallery. Sharp's going to come out soon, too. Yeah, Sharp is a legitimate... Uh, we saw the Sharp booth at the trade show. You can see it. We did many videos. We have hands-on. We drew on it. Um, that's going to be a reality soon as well. But, uh, yeah, Gallery is going to be cool because no one's touched it yet. I've just been sitting here and the iPad's dying. Look, I'm not even joking. It was at 16. Get down there. Oh. Oh, my keyboard's off again. It was a 16. Now it's at 13. Like, you know, I love LCD devices. I mean, I have to charge my phone every freaking day. Every day I have to charge my phone. If I don't, it will die. That's just the reality of it. I I don't have to, but then when I wake up, it's like, you know, 12%. So you know what I mean. But you got to charge those every day. You don't have to charge e-paper ever. <laughs> it just lasts forever. Anyways, thanks, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to iPad. I know, like, the fundamentals of it. Uh... Apple is a uh, mystery to me for the most part. Um, I'm not one of those contrarians that are like, oh, Apple's, uh, you know, popular, so I hate it. I genuinely just don't like Apple. I think it's um, it's hand-holding. It's too easy. It's a little bit pandering. It's like, oh, you do this and download that and this works. And it's just like, I agree it works. I mean, I'm not, I'm not you know, elephant in the room is that Apple is quite good and stable and i like that but there's you're just the same as everybody else you, you oh, i'm gonna go to rogers or at&t and buy the new iphone look guys i have an iphone oh okay cool you have an iphone when you have android you stand out you do and you got more choice that's a fact undeniable um yeah it's gonna be good when the scribe comes out ricky ticky tabby ain't out yet uh when does it come out i think november i think november 30th it actually comes out we should get our review sample soon and even if we do, we're not allowed to upload it until we're allowed to upload it. There's NDAs and, and embargo dates, which means you, if they set an embargo date as the 25th of November, even if we produce content, we're not allowed to upload it until the 25th of November. That's how it works. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. You guys are awesome. Thank you, everybody. Ricky Diggy Tavi, ACDC, La Via La Vie, Simon Gordon, Courtney Bowman, my mom, and Sameh. I think that's it. I think that's everybody. Thank you guys. See you later. Next time we'll have some e-paper.